Hi, uh, if you've watched my other videos, you'll know I've got into two meter contesting. Uh, and to help with my scores, I've bought a, a linear amplifier to double my power from 50 to around 100 watts. Uh, and I've gone for a Microset SR100, which is a 100 watt amplifier. Uh, but as I've found, two and a half hours of solid SSB operation uh, means that the amplifier gets red hot. Uh, so I've decided to uh, add some additional cooling to it. So I've gone for a PC cooling fan, which is 12 volts, uh, and they come in various sizes. So I've got one the same width as the amplifier. And generally, wiring-wise, they come in three types. Two wires, which are just uh, positive and negative power, and three and four wires, which have control wires to allow the CPU of the computer they would normally fix to to control the speed of the fan. Uh, in this case, I've gone for a four-wire PWM fan, which is pulse width modulation, which doesn't really matter. Uh, and this one was about uh, five pounds on a on an auction site. So if I went for a standard twelve volt uncontrolled fan, um, it would just run at full speed all the time, which I might not really want, uh, unless I could find a, a variable on off resistor I could put in series. Uh, but I've gone for the four connector fan because it allows for a, a temperature control uh, way of monitoring and managing it. Uh, and this control board I found on uh, one of the typical auction sites for £6 and this controls the fan speed based on a temperature sensor. And if you manage to navigate your way through the translated instructions you can program the fan to come on and off at different temperatures. Uh, fortunately the default setting is to start speeding up at 30 degrees C uh, which is uh, I think fine for this application. So I happen to have spare this small project box which the uh, circuit board just fits in if I bend the connection pins for the poor four pin connector upper slightly. Uh, so I just filed down uh, both sides slightly to allow the wires uh, to come in and go out the box uh, neatly. Uh, I don't think it'll get hot. If it does I can always drill some vent holes in the top but uh, uh, a nice small uh, neat job. And you can see here the box just sits on the back of the amplifier where the coax connects uh, just out the way of the fins. Uh, I've cable tied the fan onto the amplifier. It just sits on nicely in the middle uh, and the sensor wire is just pushed into the uh, the blades of the heat sink without going directly under the fan where if possible. So I'll try this setup at the next contest and see how it gets on. I hope you found this video useful.